Adventures. Built-in sensors allow these robot cats to respond to petting and touch. They are designed to provide the joy and stress relief of real cats without any of the burden. My name is Clark, I'm a cat lover, and I will be adopting a robot cat for a week. I love cats. Cats are life. Cats are a lifestyle. Cats are my spirit. Cats are real chill. I'm chill. Like, they do their own thing. I'll do my own thing. You know, I already have experience with real cats. Why not give a robot a chance? Robot cat. Ro no. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so sad. <laughs> My cat is gonna hate this. Let's go. You and I are gonna be best friends forever. No worries. All right, so here we are. It's day one with my cat, and I'm excited to see if this robot cat can rival a real cat. All right, time to take my sweet daughter, Bernie, back to Brooklyn. Let's go introduce you to your cat sister. All right, so I'm about to introduce my cats to Lola right here. Hey, Lola, what's up? Don't be a little chicken, you're a cat, man. Can I eat that? Do you not like your robot cat? You never run away from me, robot kitty. Oh my god, who did that? Look, she's comfortable with you guys. Belly up means that shit, you know what that means? Someone on the train was like trying to get Stella's attention, which was hilarious. I'm like, she's not real. Its back legs don't do anything. It it's got joints like it's supposed to, so I wonder if it's broken. The one really cute yeah. feature is that when the cat is left on and you don't pet her or anything, she'll actually go to sleep and she starts snoring like it's literally so cute. When I have work to do, I'll just put her on mute or turn her off. My cat is doing really well at my desk. My coworkers really <laughs> like it. This is disgusting. <laughs> and I love cats. It's not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. So we're about to walk into Yes, that's right, Lola. Our final interview. You and I had amazing times together. It feels like actual company, and it provides that peaceful moment that cats are sometimes able to deliver. So my week with Lola right here has been very interesting. It really reminds me of my real cats when they're behaving, which means when they're hungry and they need me. I'm lazy, so not having to feed the cat or honestly maintain it at all was great. If what you're looking for in a cat is emotional support, this could do the trick, this could do the job. But it did make me appreciate the touch of a real kitters, the response of a real kitters. The best part about owning a cat is like winning it over. I prefer to work for it. I don't want a robot that just likes me instantly. So there's a lot of things that robot kitters are good for, but when you got the real thing in your life, don't settle for a robot.